What's up, Trainiacs? Excellent Ironman triathletes are retiring. Other excellent Ironman triathletes get named the most amazing triathlete from the United States in history. Ironman starts shelling out some mad cheddar and we give away a very slick looking kit. Stick around. And the tie's back. <laughs> Welcome to this week's Triathlon Newsday Tuesday, where every single week we talk about the goings on around the triathlon world. Stick around to the end where we share everyone's favorite aspect of Triathlon Newsday Tuesday, a story from the Trainiac community. And today we give away a very schnazzy looking tri kit. Now to start off, Leanda Cave announced on her website last week that after almost 20 years of professional triathlon racing, she is retiring. Now Leanda is one of the few triathletes in all of history to win both half Ironman Worlds and full Ironman Worlds in the same year. This happened back in 2012, but since that time, she's really kind of fallen off her form, had bad luck, had a string of injuries, string of illnesses, and she hasn't ever regained that form. At the age of 40, she's just announced that it is her time. So thank you very much to Leanda for all of the excellent memories and good luck to whatever it is that you got coming up next. You are very much part of the Ventum family, so hopefully I see you. Next, the Iron Man Foundation pledged $50,000 to Volcano Relief for the damage that was caused from the volcano eruptions in Kona. Now, fortunately, most of the damage is in the less populated south east part of the island, whereas the more populated area where the Ironman World Championship is in is more like west, northwest. So while the course hasn't been damaged at all, Ironman just doing a good thing. Solid, way to go. Ironman also announced that they will hold their first full Ironman distance race on Ireland in 2019 Ironman Cork. Now it seems to be all Ironman all the time over the last little while. That just is basically the world of triathlon. And Ironman announced the results of the best American female triathletes of all time poll, which was won by Meredith Kessler, another Ventum athlete. Second place was Heather Jackson. Now personally, I think that there could be a really good case for Gwen Jorgensen made and I'm interested to hear what you have to say in the comments. Let me know who you think is the best female American triathlete of all time down below. Now speaking of Heather Jackson and Meredith Kessler, Ironman 70.3 Chattanooga happened over the weekend with Heather Jackson winning, Meredith Kessler finishing second, and Lindsay Corbin finishing third. Heather won in a time of 4.11.08. Blazing times by these ladies these days. On the men's side, Andrew Starkowitz used his super biking abilities to win in 3.46.28 with Jackson Laundry in behind in second and Adam Ottstadt in third. Love that name. That was a good one, Adam. And to round out this week's racing, Ironman 70.3 Barcelona happened with Javier Gomez winning. Personally, with the dominance that Javier is starting to show, having just stepped up to this half Ironman distance and stating that later this year he's going to step up to the full, I think that Javier's durability could allow him to develop into the single best Ironman triathlete of all time. Again. I want to hear what you have to say about that in the comments below. The women's side of 70.3 Barcelona was won by Emma Pallant. Now let's get into everyone's favorite part of Triathlon Newsday Tuesday where Michael Young, Trainiac, shared his story about how he got into triathlon and how it's affected his life. This is a good one. All my life I've struggled with body image and weight even though I was fairly active growing up but I was never a runner. Growing up in Newfoundland, Newfoundlander, at a boy, I had a good life but I struggled with bullying and a slight depression and I became less active as the years went on. I got married to my wife, Heather, in 2005 and I just continued to get less and less active. By the time our first child came around, I had ballooned up to 214 pounds and I was 5 foot 9. I was not healthy or happy. A few years later, my wife and I discovered Dr. Mike's 17-day diet. 
People may say that diets are terrible, but this was the lifestyle change that allowed me to drop 60 pounds and get down to 153 with a clean diet and regular walking. We moved towns a couple of years later and a friend of mine at work convinced me to start swimming with the master's program and that's where I met the Timmins Triathlon group. They convinced me to sign up for the Timmins Heart of Gold Sprint Triathlon where I placed second in my age class in my first race and the love of triathloning was born. I spent 2017 training and competing in my first Olympic distance triathlon in Mont Tremblant and I even placed first in the Timmins Sprint this year. I've since registered and been training for the Ironman 70.3 and full Ironman in Mont Tremblant for 2018, as well as the Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Half Marathon. Now, this is what I love about Michael's letter here. If any of you are considering doing an Ironman 70.3, an Ironman, or a full marathon, please discuss with your family first. Without my family's support, I would not be able to balance work and family at all. I spent eight to 20 hours a week training on top of a 40 hour work week and family time. I've made some of the best friends I've had all my life through training as a triathlete. It's such a wonderful group that we have the privilege of being a part of it. We should all appreciate what we have and not worry or be consumed with how slow, how fast, or how heavy we are as age groupers. I love this community and I have to thank all of my friends and family for their support in this new life. Cheers. Mike. I really got nothing to add to that. You nailed it, Mike. This is awesome. I think it's important that everyone remember that it's not about the times and the distances. It's about just being a part of the community and making it work really well and enhancing your family life, not taking away from it. So thank you very much for that, Mike. Now let's get into the giveaway. We announced it last week, but if you missed it, we still have for the next couple of days, we're giving away a Trainiac kit from our sponsor, Scody. It is absolutely smashing and about a, I think it's a $400 value long sleeve Trainiac kit. And if you don't wanna have a Trainiac kit, you can get just one of the regular Scody kits. There will be a link in the description below to where you can enter that and we will be giving that away very quickly. Stay tuned. So thank you for watching this week's Newsday Tuesday. If you aren't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. If you want to get your story featured here on Newsday Tuesday, email me at taren at triathlonterran.com. Give a shout out to your Sherpas, your family members, your tri clubs, and include some pictures. We want to see it. And that wraps up a wonderful week. Later, Trainiacs. Pow!